Right, what's going on gang? So I'm over here in Glasgow with my main man right here, Simon, and we can see his collection at the back there. So I basically come down to cover his collection. I thought, let's try and see if we can't see someone else's um, collection rather than seeing mine all the time. And it's something that I'm probably thinking about doing. I'm gonna start doing new episodes on this. So yeah, man, we're, we're down here, we're down in Glasgow. Simon's looked after me um, whilst I've been here. He showed us around the city, went to different shops, introduced me to different people. So it's, it's been amazing having him show me around, man. So much love and much appreciation. But yeah, man, let's talk. Let's look at his collection. Let's see what everything's saying, yeah? All right, peeps. Back in a bit. Right, that's exactly. I can only get pieces relative to where it's so soft. Right, so it's got a nice, it's got a nice weight to it as well. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's a bomber. Yeah. Like, I think I got some larger than the XL. Yeah, but it fits really small. Right, so yeah. almost like a like a medium large. Yeah. Check the lining on that. You can see it's really nice. Got the padding in there as well, and you've got the older style. Um, that's where all the information is about the jacket. But that's the older style one with the kind of box going around the outside and it's also pre um city logo as well that's before 2014 how old do you reckon this one is when, when do you reckon this one came out i think that one was 2011 or 2012 changes up yeah and then it goes out of warren yeah yeah it's a really nice kind of camouflage pattern on it as well mm -hmm. lovely man it's different to the other uh other ones but i think this one's slightly sun bleached as well okay and yeah. when you say sun bleach, because you, you were you was talking about this yeah. jacket here, you were saying when the sun hits it, yeah. it starts to um, like kind of fade away, fade, fade away a little bit. The colour change doesn't work as oh. much. You can see there it should. Yeah, but these, that, that's kind of expected with the older pieces as well. Yeah, especially ones like this. But I think when they obviously the ice jacket and stuff, they started doing a lot of research into the material. Yeah, in like 19 from 1990, 1980. Yeah was when the first ice jacket come out. Okay. But since then, um, we try to kind of incorporate different uh, pieces into it yeah. to make the, the material change a bit more. So I think a lot of the jackets that we've released this style, mm -hmm. sun bleached as well. Right. So you, you don't find too many that are working in great condition. You were saying this is the, this is the piece that got you into Stone Island, this one? That is the piece, well, the very first Stone Island piece that I uh, had a look at. Yeah. And I tried to get a hold of this one for years. Wow. I don't wear it as much yeah. because it's you don't want to get it broken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to wear it down anymore. So literally, this is for you. This is just like a collector's piece. It's really. just a collector's yeah. piece. Still using the um, Lampo zip that you can see there, and they don't use that no more. So you know, a lot of the vintage pieces are using using Lampo. This one's really nice actually as well. This one was a, <coughs> a, a, a part of the camouflage series as well. When, right. it, when it first came out, I had both of these jumpers. It okay. was a darker one as well. I, uh, I sold them on. I said, right, I need to get these back into the collection. The wardrobe's looking bare. So you sold it? So I sold it. You regretted it? And I regretted and it. And then you got it back and in I again? Got it back. <laughs> and I bought it from down south as well from right. a guy who had, so, who had bought it from another guy. Mm -hmm. So I think it's been passed about, but I think that this could be probably the original one that You've I ended up selling on. Okay, hold on. And I got it back. <laughs> so you reckon mm -hmm. you, you sold this, you had this piece, sold it. Yep. Sourced it again. Sourced it again. And you reckon this might be the same, the same piece one. that you had? Yeah. That's mental. It, the back is really nice, yeah. man. The stitch on the back there. For me, that's one of the kind of nicest camouflage yeah. uh, pieces you've done. Yeah. Over anything I would get inside as well. It's kind of it's different, you know? Love it, man. That's a really good um, mm -hmm. quality cotton. It's warm. Used there. And this is um, pre 2014 as well, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah look, you. Still got the art number there, look. Really nice, man. The corrosion that like, you can see there, corrosion, really nice yeah. piece. That just come in this That's morning. Come in, and he's got the corrosion um, jumper there, so it's wicked to see that you. It's almost like you've got jackets from from different er yeah. different eras almost. So I like uh, this one as well. Have you seen that one? No, no. That was uh, it's like a liquid silk. Uh, the liquid silk slightly better than this. This wow. one tends to wrap. Yeah. And peel quite a lot as well. Yeah. But it's a really lightweight jacket. Yeah, really yeah. nice. I like that as well because in the sunlight, you know, when you go outside, it kind of it kind of reflects. It, yeah, it kind of shimmers a bit. It, is it takes on the light. Even got the uh, the labels dyed there as well, same colour as the jacket. Look at all this. Um, I I actually had this piece. This is the um, camo reflective. 
but I, I sold it. Amazing jacket, this one. Actually, one of my favorites, but the only issue that I had with this, you can see it's starting to happen here, is that it starts to crack. And that's because of the, um, I believe it's got like glass, glass crystals or something like that, isn't it, inside? Glass. They've put the um, limited edition badge in there to show that the materials are um, like a new technology on them. Unfortunately, this has happened, but what they say, they say that um, it's part of the jacket, like it's meant to do that, but oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. And when it comes to resale time, unless the person doesn't mind the cracks, you're gonna have a problem selling it. That's, that's the only issue. But that's, that's, that's a beautiful one there, man. Oh, snap, look, he's got that one as well. That last year kind of camouflage for that season. Right. Uh, the dark, I had the dark jumper, I'm still trying to get the dark jumper back, but I managed to get the overshot. Right. So I picked that up pretty cheap, I think I picked that up for like 150. What's the story with this one? So that's the one I was telling you about yesterday, that was the very first jacket I bought. Oh, this was your first piece? The first one. Right. Uh, at the time, £700 in a jacket. Yeah. Was a lot of money back then. Yeah, of course. But I said I need to have this. So. Even now. So this, this is what got you, is this what got you into Stone Island? Is this the piece that you saw first? I had seen the blue one first. Right, so you saw that one first. I saw that one first and I said, right, I need an ice jacket. Right, so that so inspired you. That inspired me. And then this. this one, and that was my first piece. Yeah. And once I had it for a while, I was noticing myself going into the wardrobe and I was checking my first stone iron piece. Is it alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 700 pounds, you need to make sure it's okay. It's yeah. okay. So uh, I ended up buying more and it just became a collection. Look at the back of that, look at the back of the material. It almost looks like um, the nylon metal material. Reflex mark. That is the one for me that ripped. So I've got tears in this one in the, yeah. in the back as well. This jacket just does not like wear at all. And it is a sweat box. Right, oh, yeah, so you said it's oh, too. It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. It's wear. Comfortable. You can't wear it really in the summer because you end up sweating. Sweating because the material. Can't wear it in the winter because you're too cold. So yeah. It's uh, the jacket to me. That's no good. It's no good. It's just, it's just there. Right. So this is your this is your least favourite piece. Yeah, basically. For the money as well in that jacket, it's. It, I, I'd price that personally. At, Retail when it come out maybe three fifty. Yeah. They priced this at six fifty when it first came out. Then right, that's so peak. Price. That's peak. Yeah. Yeah. They they overpriced it. Mm -hmm. Which they do. Which they do. Definitely. Have you seen this one before? No. Nope. This is the mesh reflective. This uh, is stunning. That's probably one of the most reflective Stone Island jackets. Really. Uh, that you could probably get. Mesh reflective. Never seen this one before. But these ones again, if you if you're walking and you scratch up against the wall, you're gonna take a a chunk out the material because it's gonna got that 3D almost rib on it. So you think this one, chances are, because the thing, the thing with jackets is, yeah, you want them to be cool, but you want them to be durable as well. You don't want to be walking and having to be worried about catching on something and having it damaged. You're spending a lot of money on a jacket, so this yeah. one's um, they sealed the pockets as well. So this looks like it could be, um, could be waterproof. Water resistant, reflective fabric, wind resistant. It's got premium down on it. You can even see the uh, you can even see the reflective particles in there and bit, bits of the glass. Do you think that might peel? Yeah, I do. Over time, I think it went back here when it when it's ah. tucked over. Maybe the stress would peel as well. So top tip on the um, on the reflective stuff, man. Be careful sometimes because they they are prone to to peeling. That's the only issues with those. I was going to say, out, like of, out of all of your collection here, what one's your favourite? This one's actually. <laughs> I've travelled to a place uh, in Scotland called Dundee. Right. About two and a half hours. Jeez. The guy had this in a shop. Ooh. It was in the showroom. Yeah. Just on display. Uh -huh. And uh, I, the guy who owned the jacket, I managed to persuade him to sell me it. Yeah. So I went up and I picked it up that day in the car. Yeah. 290, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, they yeah, asked my that's my favourite piece. What's this what is the zip for? Was there something that was meant to go there? Or? No, you can fold the hood away and it turns into a collar as well. Look so. at that, so you can actually fold it up yeah, it's and it turns into a collar. Yep. Wow man. Really reflective. Yeah. Beautiful jacket man. A few people have been asking me about this one actually. I had a couple of people saying they're looking to buy this one. I do love Stone Island for their for their knits though. Oh, that's horrible. When you look at the actually when you look at that, look. Pretty similar as well, aren't it? It's the same. Stay on that. It's the same. Look at that. I think it was, yeah, like yeah. 2000. Yeah, yeah. 19. What's that? 
Ah, mate, look, you, this is your real collector boy. I've got that Shane Bacow over here to myself. Oh, so he, he signed that? <laughs> yeah, he signed he, that Personally, for me, yeah. look at that. <laughs> so how much are you going to sell this for? Nah, that's, that's just forever. <laughs> this ain't going anywhere. The, the funny thing is, well, when he was signing the book for me, yeah. I, said, I said, we were speaking for a while, and I said, can you say Mark? And he said, of course. So we spoke for a while, and he told me, he said, write your name down on the inside of a box. Yeah. And I said, my, my name's Simon. He says, I need to copy it. He told me the reason he was doing it was because he didn't want it to say I want anything he signs, it's to a person. It's yeah. Not from Calvary Yes, 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 yes. Look at so that. So it can be sold on for Because Because people will sell that for big money. Definitely. You've got an amazing collection, man. Thank you for having us come down and see all this stuff. There's no more here. you still got more. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Wow. What is this bad boy right here? That's one of my favourites. Oh, you know, we got. That's a shadow. Yeah, I was thinking that we're going to close up and he's like hold on i'm still that's just one wardrobe mate <laughs> that's the one you got me as well yeah the this one, one we got you from the um from Lovely. the outlet mm -hmm. love that i got one for myself as well Beautiful. really really nice that one so you just put it by the window to because you're saying that this one doesn't change as it's much anymore much, yeah so you just put it um by the window to get some light capture the light in it and you can see the colors has changed from from the dark beautiful jacket man yeah it's nice i love it when it's, it's dark as well it looks really it looks like it's got that kind of camo look to it it does turn heads love that jacket yeah, for me would you ever sell that one uh i was thinking about getting rid of it but really just no, because man. of the size i'd probably swap it for a bigger size yeah uh, but I was like, that's well, it almost looks like a leather jacket yeah yeah it does that it's got two pockets oh it's got two one. pockets got one there and one on yeah. the side so you got four pockets love it man i think out of all the ones that i've seen from um your collection i think that's my favorite yeah you got i really like it man how much are you going to sell it to me for? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe swap you for a bigger size if you got something. That one came from uh, Norway. Oh, was it? A couple of months ago. So everywhere I, I do buy from is far away. This came this morning. This yeah. came from Napoli in Italy. Okay. Uh, everything comes from, you know, different places. Yeah. Stunning, man. That's, that's, I think that's, uh, that's one of my favourites from that, from that one. Yeah. Do you ever... Do you ever swap the badges around the jackets and stuff? No, no, because no. I think uh, if you swap the badge, an example for a piece that's limited, a yeah. badge piece, and you put a like a normal one, a shadow or shadow badge, and people don't know that it's it's just not original. Yeah, you know you got to keep you got to keep it original. So yeah, yeah. Keep the badge on it. Yeah, as my advice. Yeah, I wouldn't play about with them too much. Yeah, I've seen myself sometimes if I'm wearing Stone Island, double Stone Island, I'm yeah. maybe I maybe take the badge off. And, put it in my pocket if because I'm you don't want it yeah, you think like it's overkill I'm always swapping the badges around do you? yeah so this one's um, this is the Nike um, Stone Island that, that should be that one should it? it should yeah. be that one yeah. but because it's dark that the black really well. I just I always I always um, just change them up that does go really nice as well thanks man yes. so you're you're a bit like me in the sense where a lot of your money's going into, into jackets it's clobber yeah definitely uh, it's more of a on PD, you maybe buy one piece. Yeah. But if a collection comes out, we can see, for example, yeah, like season, yeah. you won't buy two. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not as if you're losing money, you're always going to hold money. That's how I feel about it, like, whether it's in five years or ten years. Yeah, There's yeah. going to be a market for Stone Island. Yeah. Uh, just due to the collectors. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The demand. Yeah. Seriously cool collection, man. Really, really cool. Yeah, it's only going to grow over time as well next, next year when you come back. Yeah. Up, 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 up.